two more muscles that you're looking at over here are the flexors and extensors of the wrist so flexors are always ventrally located meaning on the anterior surface and extensors are always posteriorly or dorsally located there are a lot of flexors and extensors in uh, the forearm but we're going to talk about just the two um, this one over here you're looking at is a posterior view so this becomes the exterior carpi ulnaris okay so the extensor carpi ulnaris it originates on the lateral epicondyle of the humerus and inserts itself on the fifth metacarpal which is the pinky its function is to extend and adduct the risk so what you're looking at is the adduction of the wrist adduction adduction means moving the wrist towards the midline so this movement is adduction and the other function of the extensor carpi ulnaris that you're looking at is uh, wrist extension so you can see the wrist is being extended yes now you can see wrist extension from this angle over here okay so the two main function of the extensor carpi ulnaris is to extend the wrist and to adduct the wrist so the next muscle is the flexor carpi radialis flexor carpi radialis originates at the medial epicondyle of the humerus and it inserts on the second and third metacarpals specifically in between the second and third metacarpals and the function of the flexor carpi radialis is to flex something right and over here it's going to flex the wrist along with flexing the wrist it also functions in abducting the wrist so this muscle is exactly the opposite of extensor carpi ul ulnaris um, so if you want to take a look here you see wrist abduction meaning moving away from the midline now you can see wrist abduction so this is the flexor carpi radialis and it helps in abduction of the wrist meaning moving the wrist away from uh, the midline of the body okay so the flexor carpi ulnaris sorry the flexor carpi radialis and the extensor carpi ulnaris are exactly the opposite to each other flexors flex the wrist and abduct the hand extensors extend and adduct the wrist flexors are always anteriorly located extensors are always posteriorly located now a clinical condition associated uh, with mainly the flexor muscle specifically flexor carpi radialis is golfer's elbow now golfer's elbow is a condition um, that, ca that is caused by extensive strain on the muscles specifically these flexor uh, carpi radialis and this happens a lot when people uh, play anything like swinging so people who play golf uh, pianists violinists uh, movers weightlifters bikers anybody who uses their elbow a lot it can cause golfer's elbow and it mainly causes pain right over here near the medial epicondyle so the golfer's elbow is also known as medial epicondylitis so that means the inflammation of the medial epicondyle 